Yo guys, what's up, Mushroom Gecko here, and welcome to the first video on my new 3D printing series. So, for the first video today, we're going to be printing Pokemon, and considering how much I love Pokemon, and how the new game just came out, we're going to be printing some of the new Pokemon from the new Pokemon game Sun and Moon. So the first Pokemon we have here today is Grubbin. So as you can see, the way I designed Grubbin is, you know, the two pinchers, the eyes, the two holes, or the two circles on the side, the little overhang on its eyes, and its feet. So yes, it's a pretty basic Pokemon, but uh, it looks pretty good, in my opinion. So, the next Pokemon we have is everyone's personal favorite, Rowlet. Everyone loves Rowlet. Oh my gosh, this guy is awesome. I was going to get Litten or Poplio. I think I was leaning towards more Poplio, and then I saw Decidueye and Spirit Shock on how it was an archer, and I'm like, I'm getting it. So, this is my Rowlet design, as you can see, the little owl, it has the little wings, the feet, and the tail. So yes, yes, little, little awesome Rowlet. The last Pokemon we have here is the most misunderstood Alolan Pokemon, Mimikyu. Mimikyu is so depressing yet so adorably cute. Like, look at it, it's so cute. So yeah, as you can see, I did the little spikes on the bottom, I did the tail, I did the piece hanging out that holds the tail, the messed up ears, and the crazy smile, and the cute little eyes. So yes, we're going to be printing these three Pokemon today, and luckily for you guys, I already have them up on XYZware, which is my 3D printing software made by the XYZ printing company. Now, the specific printer I'm using is the XYZ DaVinci 1.0A. It is an absolute awesome printer. I love it. I got it for my birthday last year, and it has not failed me yet. So, let's see how it can hold up to printing three Pokemon on the bed. So, yeah. So, um... Let's print this, let's uh, set that to good, let's go into here, set the infill to 15%, set this to honeycomb, gonna have the layer height to 0.3, have the speed to standard so it doesn't mess up the prints. Let's go to the supports, let's uh, set the density to the support to low so it's not a nightmare to remove the supports, and let's print it. And I will get back to you guys when I have the video up time lapse to print for you guys.
So, Grubbin, Rowlet, and Mimikyu are all done. All I have to do is to take the supports off, clean them up a bit, and they'll look really, really awesome. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I cleaned them up a bit, and they look really, really awesome. I really like them. So, as you can see, Grubbin on the side, he has the little pinchers, he has the little circles on the side and the eye can't really see it there you go and his little feet which I can't really clean up much down there because the support down there are hard to take off next off we have Rowlet as you can see the little bird eyes you can see his little mouth his bow tie his little birdie feet and his little tail so yes little Rowlet I really like that one also last but not least we have Mimikyu as you can see his little messed up face and his little messed up ear and his little slouched ear right there you can see his tail uh, if you can see that I don't think you really can it's not focusing moving back a bit but his tail has some hot glue on it it kind of fell off during the uh, clean off process yeah sorry about that mimic you so um yeah these unfortunately are not for giveaway I made these for a friend well you can however download the schematics on Tinkercad or on Thingiverse the thing I was using for making these was Tinkercad it is an online in browser CAD program to make all these fun little creations it is really really amazing for beginners so uh, yeah did I mention it's free <laughs> Uh, I'm going to start moving over to a more complex CAD program so I can make more complex creation called Inventor. I've been using it lately and I love it. So, um, yeah. So you can, like I said, you can download them and you can print them out for yourselves to have a bit of fun. Just go to a col like go to your local community college or to your school, uh, load up these and print them out on the school printer or the college printer or whatever and you can have your own Pokemon so um yeah little wonderful life in the ceiling mushroom have a time to collect ghost and keep those gems shining when you go out boop thank you guys for watching see you guys next time hope you all enjoyed and I am out of here